So we've talked about narcissism withholding intimacy. Let's talk about when you're in a relationship with a narcissistic person and it is an intimate relationship and how they use that intimacy to manipulate you, to control you, and pretty much to devalue you. My name's Lise Colucci and I'm here to talk to you about things related to narcissism and how to heal from narcissistic relationships and transform your life after narcissists have been in it. So there is so much power in the physical connection with another human being. When you have contact physically with another human being in any way that brings about pleasurable experiences, everything from a hug or holding hands to all out sexual relationships with a person, and it is made to be something that is pleasurable or, or giving or emotionally connecting or anything like that in a relationship, you of course form human bonds with that other person. It creates a connection and it creates contact and closeness and what feels like relationship, okay? So every time the oxytocin is flowing in your body, every time there's touch or human connection, contact with another person and you feel those feelings of joy and relaxation and oxytocin flowing through your body there is there's a bond being formed okay and that is a natural thing that happens see but what happens with a narcissistic person is they do not feel the same reaction to that bond. What they feel is control and power. What they use in that circumstance is the fact that you are now under their control because of the connection that you've had with them. So when we're talking about intimacy or sex with a narcissistic person, we are always talking about coercion. We are always talking about manipulation and we are always talking about an actual disconnect rather than a connection. Okay, because the narcissistic person is using that experience to manipulate you. You feel one way because you have empathy, you have compassion, you are aiming for a healthy bond and relationship with this person most likely. They, on the other hand, are deriving pleasure, watching themselves perform, have egotistical reactions to the way they feel about the situation versus how it brings two people together, okay? The narcissist isn't in a relationship with you. They're in a relationship with themselves and themselves only. Always, in all ways. So it is no different than any other part of the relationship except that this part of the relationship, this intimacy, this connection, this closeness, physicality, sexuality, is a place where people feel very vulnerable, very connected, very close, and very bonded to another human being when they're in a relationship with them and they have empathy and that's the nature of the relationship, right? So. It's a place that's really dangerous because it is such a vastly different world from where the narcissist is in that situation. They are in a place of power, control, and manipulation. They will often build you up in the beginning or at least let you think everything's fine in that department, right? And then break you down slowly or even rapidly to where you no longer have any confidence in yourself in that way, okay? And so they will make you feel like you're not enough, like you're not performing well enough, you're not good enough, you're not whatever enough, right? They will then, they will make you feel like you're not giving them enough attention or somehow you are no longer as affectionate as you used to be or whatever. What the thing is, the rest of your relationship is probably crumbling and tumbling, right? And, and you are reeling and trying to create connection and bond with this person. And so it's really not the same as it was. You don't have the same affection and connection that you had with them, of course, because you've been manipulated and gaslit and treated poorly for a long period of time, right? But you're still trying, you're still putting forth effort. And so you can see that, oh yeah, they're right. You may feel like, well, of course they're right. I'm not putting in the effort I used to. I'm not feeling the way I used to, it's my fault. Okay, that's incorrect. Okay, but what's happening is you've been treated horribly in the rest of your relationship and when it comes to the sexual part of your relationship, it's not gonna just go away and you have the sexual part of your relationship. That is what the narcissist wants. They want it compartmentalized to being one thing. To them, 
it's just sex, okay? To them, they may tell you that they feel close to you or whatever, but if you watch, they will pull away emotionally. They will, they will devalue you at some point afterward. They will shut down as soon as it's over, right? Like, so when you're with a narcissist and this is going on, you have to remember that this is not you, okay? This is not because of you. You're not inadequate. You're not doing anything wrong. The narcissist wants a performance, both from you and from them. They want to watch themselves perform the act of sex. They want to see themselves as they delusionally envision themselves in that situation as well, okay? So it is no different from the way they act in life in the bedroom. It is exactly the same, only it is more coercive because you are the most vulnerable you're going to be, all right? It's a place where it's really easy to hurt the other person's feelings and affect the way they feel about themselves. It is a place no one else witnesses most likely, so there is no one to say, hey, that didn't seem right, right? This is a place of complete privacy. It's a thing that the narcissist uses to make sure you are doing exactly what they want. Remember, they do not need you to be perfect and wonderful and joyful. They want you to feel bad about yourself so that they can build you up when they want to in order to control how you feel. If they can control how you feel, they can control how you act. And therefore, they will always have supply and energy and attention and focus going back to them. Does that make sense? So another thing narcissists do when it comes to sexuality is they will use it to keep you on the hook. They will give you attention and affection in that way so that you feel like you are loved, you are cared for, you're worth something. And then they devalue you later on, but see if they keep giving that to you in that way, then you're continually hoping for more of the affection and the attention that comes from that because see, it isn't about the physical act. It's about what it does emotionally to you, that it is not affecting them in the same way. You see, it doesn't create the same issues for them because, well, number one, you're not devaluing them in the process, but also because they don't care in that way. They are taking, okay? Narcissists are sexual takers. So some people will say that it was great. That part of the relationship was great and that's why it was so hard to leave. But generally speaking, when asked if they really looked at it, what they would see is it was because the narcissist was just such a good performer in that way, meaning they put on all, they put it all out there in the sense of they needed to look like this amazing person. And so they had to perform in that way so that they could watch themselves being that way. And it was still removed and detached and not very intimate, but the physical act was good. And so once people see that, then they kind of back away thinking, yeah, maybe it wasn't as good as I thought it was, <laughs> right? I mean, there's a lot to this topic. You guys, leave some comments, questions, direction for videos that you would like to see with this topic in mind, and I will try and get some out there specifically tailored to fit your questions, okay?